Yo, before we get started in the tutorial, there's uh, three things you'll need. One of which is SCP Secret Laboratory, and then the SCP Laboratory Dedicated Server. Uh, both are free, and to find the dedicated server, all I have to do is type SCP in library, and fully download it, and once it's downloaded, continue the tutorial. Okay, so in this, there's uh, one step we have to do first, and that's finding our public IP and then our IPv4. So to find your public IP, all you have to do is type what's my IP. And here will be your IP here. If this isn't telling your IP or it's a longer string of text that is more than the four points, then go to this website instead, whatismyip.com, and it will give you your IP. But for here, mine shows you. This would be my public IP. I'm going to note that down here. And then next, I want my IPv4. To find my IPv4, by pressing the Windows key and or. And then when you press the Windows key and or, it will open this run command. And all you have to do is type CMD. Which press OK, this will open. All you need now is to type IP config in one line. And here's my IP. Now you may have several options going down, but it's just whichever one you're actually connected to. Whatever Ethernet you're using or internet. MPv4 is my IPv4, so that'll be the number that I'm going to use now in a moment. IPv4 is 192.168.0.50. Now that I have both these numbers noted, I'm going to keep them for a the moment. Where these are going to be used is in the dedicated server. Launch your dedicated server after you've made it, and now the or after you downloaded it, and then for port number, you're going to put in 7777, and then press enter. We'll go all the way down. You want to wait for it to say waiting. Yeah, waiting for players. This is where you type config. So you'll notice here is where I put in the public IP. Um, of course, my IP is different. Don't worry about that. So if I do this, it should work perfectly fine. And then IPv4 is my IPv4. So right here, right here. All I have to do is save the server now. Of course, there's other settings here like um, max players, server name, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's all up to you. But uh, it's not done just yet. There's the second step we have to do, which is port forwarding, so other players can connect to our server. For port forwarding, there's a few different ways you'll have to do it. For example, right here, my default gateway is 192.168.0.1. So for port forwarding, all you have to do is enter your default gateway, which here's mine. These numbers here. And then you have put in a password. Um, in the description there should be a list, or in the guide there should be a list, um, or a link to a list of what are potential passwords for your network. Usually it's using default ones like admin, admin, or else it comes with your internet. But the next step is, on your, um, on your actual internet itself, <clears throat> I'm going to move for a moment, just in case it shows something sensitive. Nope, all good. So. Uh, for me, you're going to want to look for something where it says port forwarding. For me, it's in security and then port forwarding. And then all you have to do here, right, is the IPv4 that you put in. For example, mine is 0 0.50, so 50. All of these will be just the IP we're using because there's no range. It's all just one IP, TCP and UDP. So you pick both or if it's just TCP and UDP, TCP and UDP and enabled on click add rule for me the rule already exists i've already made it so if it's your first time doing it the server should start working now soon um on the dedicate server now if i stop it and launch it port number is 7777 and i go ahead and type config Here's where you just make sure everything's perfect. That's my IPv4, that's my public IP. Check one more time. What's my IP? There it is. All right, for this part, I decided to just do a voiceover since the game is extremely loud. Um, I'm just showing the game is working, but all you have to do is put in your public IP followed by semicolon 7777. And then hit connect. And once you're, as long as the server is open and you have it running on Steam, you should be able to connect to it now.